Hi, uh, welcome to CMET Mock Engineering. Uh, mock Engineering is a concept or a program which will help you increase your score by up to 20 marks by just fine tuning your mock strategies. Uh, you, you have already experienced this in your life that if you are able to manage your mock properly or exam properly, you have scored good marks. And if you are not able to manage your mock properly, then you have not scored good marks in particular mock. So a lot of external factors like emotional, emotion at that time, the level of difficulty of your exam, a lot of things which identify or which hamper your scores. All right. So mock engineering will help you increase your marks by up to 20 marks. Fine. And three things which we normally talk about in the mock engineering program is accuracy, attempt and optimization of the strategies. Fine. So mock engineering is a paid program so I can't explain you all the strategies of CMAT. But let me discuss one main strategy or one of the main strategies which we normally suggest in the mock engineering program. All right, there are four sections. The number of questions which are there per section is 25. Right. The number of marks allocated per question is 4, so total marks 100. Time allocated, total for the paper is 3 hours. So divide by 4, 45 minutes per section. Let's see how we can optimize ourselves in the mock engineering. Alright, first let's start with the GK section. How much marks you need for the GK section? Alright, how much time you need for the GK section? Let's start with that area. Do we need 45 minutes to solve 25 questions? No. Alright, let's assume the case where there is no section cut off. Then you can use this thing. Alright. For a GK question, either you know the answer or you don't know the answer. There's no calculation involved, there's no mind games involved. It's either a straight yes or no. You know the answer or you don't know the answer. How many rivers are there in India? Mm, there are a couple of rivers in front of my house, couple of rivers behind my No. That's not the way to work for CMET, GK especially. Alright. So what how much time you can spend is you don't need more than five minutes to spend on 45 on GK. So if I put in five minutes for this section, so the ideal thing is to start with GK. If you can't solve in, uh, enough marks, no problem at all. As I told in the other video, that the maximum mark scored by the snap GK question of the topper was 3.5, and the lowest mark scored by the lowest one, the lowest rank holders was around 1.25. So the gap is hardly two marks. So GK is not the main deciding factor. Finish it off in the first first go. 3.5 means she did 5 questions right, 5 questions and 2 questions wrong, 7 questions she tried. If you can do 5 questions, wonderful, it's more than sufficient. 5 minutes, 5 questions. 5 minutes is the maximum time you can spend on GK section. So what you have done just now is you have saved 40 minutes time. Fine. How you can use that? Can I put 10, 10 minutes extra for every section? So instead of 40, you got 55 minutes per section or if you look at the questions 55 almost more than 2 minutes per question is a time allocated for every question and what you have done is sudden within seconds you have identified or increased your time per section to almost more than 20% alright now you have still saved 10 minutes what I want to do is I want you to spend 10 minutes extra on the area where you are weak in Quant verbal ella wherever the area you are weak in you can spend the time or you can spend the time on the area you are the strongest at there is no section cut off you can score as much as you can so why don't I spend maximum time on the area I am already good at right so if there is a section cut off for any exam so it is true for every exam if there is a section cut off spend maximum time on the area where you are weak in so that you can at least try to maximize your scores. If there is no section cut off, why don't I try target more of quant, quant and DI, or more of LR, or more of verbal, whichever is a strong area. Fine. If you implement this strategy, trust me, you will score your, see your scores improving. Fine. Because the mock engineering program is designed to increase your scores. Alright. So three things to be concerned on is accuracy building. The biggest thing in any exam importance is accuracy. There is no sense, it makes no sense to take the exam if your accuracy is not, not that good. Fine. 
So A, work on your accuracy. How you can do that? If you can jo join our program, wonderful. If you can't join our program, then at least try it at home. Tone down yourself. Don't do too many questions. All right, reduce the attempt of a question and you'll see your accuracy going up like anything. Second thing is an attempt. Build your attempts. Third thing is optimization. The one we talked about just now is a section, is a part of the optimization strategy which we normally suggest to all of us students who join the mock engineering program. All right. All the best for CY. Thank you. You can also go to our site facebook.com slash cmat exam for more information and more videos or visit our site cmat2012.in or cmatking.com for more of the mock engineering and other CMAT strategies and how to crack CMAT. A lot of videos uploaded there. Thank you.